Hey, this is Les coming to you for That's My Entertainment from Comic Con, and I'm lucky enough to be chatting with Jeff Anison, the co founder and president of Legion M. Something that absolutely fascinates me about Legion M, beyond the, the kind of romanticized ideal of, of fans getting involved and, and making our own stuff, is that there's, there's really no other business model that I can compare this to. Uh, you, it took some SEC uh, changes to rules for this to exist. As you move forward and try to improve it, not having another example to look at, how do you evolve this concept? That's a great question. I mean, we're the first fan-owned entertainment company ever. And not because we were the ones that thought of the ideas, but uh, we were the one that were around at the moment in time where the laws changed and made it possible. And we had the good sense or the lack of sanity to go after it. And um, so it's, you know, it's, it's always interesting pioneering and doing something that's never been done before. I love it and I'm a startup guy. This is my third startup and so I feel very comfortable doing this and I really enjoy it. Um, it there's a lot of challenges that come with it and uh, you know for us it's about we come from Silicon Valley and the mantra is you know experiment, ad, uh, you know agile development. You try stuff and you try a lot of different things and you see what works and if it works you double down on it and if it doesn't work you get rid of it and so that's kind of the methodology that we have pretty much in everything that we do and y'all just started your your fifth round of funding can you explain a little bit about how the rounds work and and what's evolved in the process or, or what you've tweaked yeah so um first of all you don't have to invest to be a part of legion m yeah i'm just signed up yeah you can join as a free member there's no cost or obligation it's a great way to become a part of the community um see what it's all about and then if you want to invest um sometimes we have rounds open and if you want to choose to invest you can and if not that's fine too you can stay a free member forever and that's fine with us because at the end of the day this is about a movement it's about a community of fans uniting to shape the future of entertainment and so uh, um, anyway but uh, for those that choose to invest you go to uh, right now we sell the shares on a site called WeFunder which is kind of like a Kickstarter that you think of um, but for equity crowdfunded companies okay. right because like Legion M that's that's what changed is if you if you back a project on Kickstarter it's a donation in exchange for usually a pre-sale the project and some some sort of reward mm -hmm. Um, when you invest in Legion M, you literally own shares in the company. It's like buying stock in Disney back when it was just getting off the ground with Walt and Roy. And so, you know, if we're successful, that stock could become very valuable. And so that's, that's, that's kind of how it works. The minimum investment right now is $100. Um, you know, we tell people it's a very risky investment. You know, we're a startup company and the fact is most startup companies fail. But the companies that succeed go on and change the world, right? You know, the odds were against Disney ever becoming anything. They were against Mark Zuckerberg at Facebook. They're against us. But if we can manage to make this thing work, um, we think, you know, our long-term goal for Legion M is baked into our logo. The M with the bar over it is the Roman numeral for one million because our goal is to unite one million fans as shareholders of the company. And if you can imagine that, that would be hundreds of millions of dollars to develop projects, film and television, and more importantly, a million people standing behind them when they come out. We believe that that could be one of the most influential companies in Hollywood. For you, has there been a, a particularly great choice or, or scary decision that y'all have made that you think really helped turn the company into, into what you want or, or has helped shape the company into what you want? Gosh, it's a great question. I mean, <laughs> honestly, everything is a scary choice when you're when you're doing a startup like this because uh, you know everything is kind of a step towards the next. Um, you know, I think uh, Mandy is a great example of you know. I mean, it's it's uh, so we invested in the film Mandy. Are you familiar yes. with the movie? Have oh, you yes. seen it? Have you yes. seen it? Okay. So we invested in it when it was in the script stage. We saw the script. Mm -hmm. We were able to see the first movie by the director, Panos Cosmatos. Um, and he, this was going to be a second movie. And we knew that Nicolas Cage was in it. And it's so out there. I mean, the script is out there. The first movie from Panos Cosmatos is out there. And it's one of those things that were like, wow, if this works, 
it could be amazing. But if it doesn't, <laughs> you know, who knows what's going to happen. And so, you know, it's not my money. It's like I represent 16,000 investors that have entrusted us with their money to choose projects. And so it's nerve wracking because, you know, we wanted to give this guy a chance. We thought Pinos is an amazing creator. Uh, Nicholas Cage obviously is an amazing actor. And let's give these guys a shot. And so um, it came out and, you know, it premiered at Sundance and was literally the best reviewed film at Sundance. It went on, it was 100% on Rotten Tomatoes for, you know, up until for a long time, all through Sundance. Um, went on to become Esquire Magazine's best movie of 2018. It's on Guillermo del Toro's best movie of 2018 list, like a ton of critical acclaim, had this kind of viral grassroots, um, almost like a cult movie, you know, status. Like they're still doing midnight showings of that movie. And so that's an example of, uh, of uh, taking a risk that paid off. But, you know, I mean, like I said, there's, I'm sure there are going to be movies that we take risks on that are going to fall flat. And I mean, that's just, that's just part of the business. You know, we, we, we tell people like Hollywood is a hit driven business because there's no way with certainty to predict or to reliably know whether a movie's going to be a hit. Because if it was, only hits would get made, right? I mean, even the biggest names, you know, have falter. But the way that you win over time in Hollywood is you back a large slate of diverse projects. And, you know, some of them are going to flop. Some of them are going to succeed. And if you're doing it right, the the, the wins, you know, uh, outnumber the, the losses. And you go on and fight another day. So just for, for just Jeff as a fan, what's been the favorite thing that y'all have gotten to, to be involved in so far? My gosh, I mean, there's so many different examples. I would say um, Memory of the Origin of Alien is a really good one because our community selected that, that film at Sundance. We went to Sundance looking for a film to purchase with a partner. And um, rather, you know, usually those sorts of decisions are made by like one or two people. And... Uh, in the case of memory, you know, in case of Sundance, we actually put it out to our entire legion. We built a game that allowed our entire legion to rate and evaluate and play this game that helped us you get thousands of people's opinions. And it was, you know, over 45,000 votes were cast. And that enabled us to choose um, Memory the Origin of Alien, which will be coming out uh, this fall. And so that was really exciting. We love to find ways to integrate our community into the process. It gives them a voice in the process of what we're doing, but just as importantly, it allows us to leverage the wisdom of the crowd and make better decisions. Because it's not my gut versus your gut, it's data from thousands of people. I think one of the things that everybody loves about coming to Comic Con is this moment where you go from being isolated and loving your show or loving your property to seeing all of these fans that share that love with you. Legion M does the same thing but puts, you know, puts money really where its mouth is. Uh, it is, it is. I mean, you know, so, yeah. it's, it's really about uniting fans. And, you know, someone was here earlier and they said every day is kind of like Comic Con with Legion M because, you know, our, we're, we consider ourselves a community before more than a corporation and it's this this whole idea that when we unite like it's our wallets and eyeballs that make this whole entertainment world go round. Mm -hmm. and individually any one of us is just a consumer but when we unite we have the power literally to shape the future of hollywood well fifth round's open if you want to keep this feeling going there you thank go. you so much jeff thank you for so good to talk on. to you